Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 422. Effects of Stroke, ACA or the Anterior Cerebral Artery. What are the areas of lesion in a stroke at the level of anterior cerebral artery? Stroke at the level of anterior cerebral artery can cause motor cortex lesion and that would affect the lower limbs as well as sensory cortex and that would also affect the lower limbs. What is a symptom that can arise due to motor cortex being involved in an anterior cerebral artery stroke? Due to the motor cortex being involved this can lead to contralateral paralysis of the lower limb. What is a symptom that can arise due to sensory cortex being involved in an anterior cerebral artery stroke? The symptom that would arise would be a contralateral loss of sensation in the lower limbs. What areas are lesioned if the stroke occurs at the level of the lateral striate artery? The areas of lesion would be striatum and the internal capsule. What are the symptoms that can arise due to a stroke at the level of lateral striate artery? The symptoms that can arise in this is contralateral hemiparesis and hemiplegia. Define hemiparesis. Hemiparesis is the weakness on one side of the body. What is hemiplegia? Hemiplegia is the paralysis of one side of the body. What is the most common cause of lacunar infarct? The most common cause of lacunar infarct is hypertension. What is the second most common cause of lacunar infarct? The second most common cause of lacunar infarct is lateral striate artery stroke. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.